of Rampart Mountain, above the beautiful Valley of Lilith, there lived the mad scientist Kruilov. was a truly great scientist, but he had gone mad. He worked day and night in his mountain laboratory. His only helper was young Herbert Morrison III and Herbert's pet fox, Rusty. Dr. Kruilov puttered and muttered and fixed and fussed over his terrible secret formula. But somehow it never seemed to come out just quite right. He would try as hard as he was able until his very beard crackled with fury. But nothing ever happened. Herbert Marsden III thought he knew why. And so, Herbert Morrison III invented the atom. Herbert and Rusty were delighted with the presents the atom gave them. But mad scientist Krolov was absolutely furious. He couldn't stand the idea of someone else inventing the atom, especially not Herbert Morrison III. Ha! said the mad scientist. I have locked you up forever. Now no one will ever suspect that Herbert Morrison III invented the atom, they will all congratulate Krolov! With your infernal meddling, you have spoiled my work! The mad scientist muttered and muttered and fixed and fussed faster and faster! and life was happy. Rusty found a friend and left Herbert alone with Krulov. What a perfect spot, thought Krulov, for my sweet little bomb. Herbert tried to warn the people who lived on the island, but it was no use. They just smiled at him. Atomization, said Rusty. I've got to do something. Rusty swam after Herbert and Krulov. 
Annette, his fox wife, and all the villagers of Malabar watched him go until they could see him no longer. Deep in the heart of the bomb, the bad atom struggled viciously, trying to get free. He was lifted up by powerful magnets and held underneath the biggest plane in the world. Kruilov smiled as he thought of how he had fooled all of the world's statesmen. Little did they guess he intended to blow up the beautiful island of Malabar. But Herbert Morrison III knew and he was determined not to let Kruilov succeed in his awful plan. Kruilov set off the clock, which would free the terrible atom in exactly one hour. at the laboratory, thinking sadly of Annette and the happy villagers. When Kruilov realizes that Herbert has erased his target, he grows even madder than usual. Determined to destroy this young boy who has ruined his life's work. He flies to Rampart Mountain. Herbert and Rusty work frantically to free the good Adam. Hurry, only one minute left. Hurry, hurry! Morrison the third? No. Here comes the good Adam. The explosion that wrecked the safe has brought him freedom. He wakes Rusty and Herbert as if nothing had happened to them. He brings them the magic Adam food to eat and grow strong on. And as the magic cream touches the ground, grass and flowers grow again on the burned earth. On and on it grows. Homes and factories spring up like magic. Peace and plenty are everywhere. for just one more evil deed, he will do it. Rusty boy, stop him! Don't let him destroy everything all over again! And so the last bomb on Earth is exploded, with Kruilov underneath it. The world can live happily again. Thanks to Herbert Morrison III and to Rusty.